Man and his plans must be based on politics, not theories. This is an important point. Politics is that which allows man to understand the common good, and this common good at its roots does not admit of theories. A poor person does not have the solution to the problem of satisfying his basic necessities. These basic needs are food, clothing, health, housing, job opportunities, and employment. We must recognize who poverty threatens each day. Under the term of poverty are those who run the risk of losing employment without hope of acquiring work which satisfies their legitimate aspirations. Politics is fundamentally the art of survival of man through a united effort. Politics has failed because it knows what it should do, but does not do it. In this case, the burden of blame is more serious and even becomes graver because it cannot admit to ignorance. And we cannot say, pardon them for they know, they do not know what they do. They certainly know what they should do, but do not do it. This is a situation with Christ in heaven. There is no doubt about it. And so, where do we go from here? When we get to this point, we have to ask, where do we go? Those who observe the world situation realize that it is on the edge of a tremendous abyss. While the war in Iraq is the most publicized, there are 35 other wars being waged throughout the world at an unimaginable cost. All of us must stop and realize the consequences of this terrible situation and the degradation brought on by the deplorable poverty it produces. If we apply our wasted efforts and resources used for this or conflicts to alleviate the conditions of the poor, there would be more than enough left over. What is lacking is the political will to do it. It is only in this way that human misery and hunger will be combated.